Hi, I'm Vicky from Hit The Books and today I thought I'd show you how to deal with loans in Xero. So when you receive a bank loan or any other cash loan, this is a liability that you have to pay back, usually with interest. So when we receive our loan, we need to code it to a current liability code. So let's have a look at an example here. So if we have a look, we've received $20,000 from the ANZ. So I need to code it to a current liability code. But the first thing I actually have to do is create that code. So to do that, I'm going to go to the chart of accounts screen. Then I'm going to click add account. My account type is going to be current liability. The code, so liability codes in zero usually start with an eight. So I'm going to try eight, one, one if that is available. Yes, it is. So then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it ANZ Bank Loan. And I'm happy with the rest of these settings, so I'm just going to press Save. And now we need to go back to the Bank Reconciliation screen and code the principal amount that we've received to that chart of account code. And I'm just going to refresh my screen. Right, so then we go, the who is ANZ, the what. So if I start typing ANZ, there we go. That's the chart of account code I just set up. And the why, we can just put a principal loan amount received. And then I press OK. OK, so that's created the loan liability code and we've put the principal to it. Now we've got some repayments. We're repaying $250 per month. So what do we do with those? Now, because they're repayments and we want to reduce our liability, we're going to use exactly the same chart of account code for the repayments. So our who is ANZ. And we're going to put it to exactly the same code, ANZ bank loan. And I'm just going to put first repayment. And we're going to do the same thing with this one, the second repayment. But if I just refresh my screen, zero should remember. Yes, it has to remember the details from the previous transaction. So I'm just going to press OK on that because it's correct. And now I'm going to show you on the balance sheet how that looks. So if I head to accounting and balance sheet. And then we're going to run the balance sheet as at today's date. And then if we head down to the liabilities bit, we'll see our ANZ bank loan. And I'm just going to drill into this amount. And here you'll be able to see everything in practice. So we've got the $20,000 principal, and then we have the two repayments that I've made, which is reducing the liability amount down to 19,500. So now we've dealt with the loan and the repayments, we need to have a look at the interest. So most loans incur interest and interest is an expense. Now, Xero has a default interest expense chart of account code that you can code the interest repayments to. So if I go A and Z, that's correct, we're paying the A and Z, but it's not going to the bank loan. We're going to type in interest expense and that's the default Xero interest expense code. And we can just put an interest like that and then press OK. So interest on a loan is an expense and you need to put it to an expense code. The second thing is that a lot of bank loans, cash loans come with some sort of an establishment fee, like a bank fee. So again, you can code that to some sort of bank fee expense code. And that is how to deal with loans in zero.